gym. Which, I mean, is not a bad idea. You get, I mean, totally that's a good idea because, generally speaking, humans' long game is much, much better than Night Elf's, in my opinion. But uh, if this guy gets the fast Chimeras, uh, really, you're gonna, Soul's going to find himself in a world of hurt. And you can see he just went the wrong way with his Demon Hunter. I guess you, you wanted to make sure another slow didn't get off. But uh, if the Mountain King catches up here, Demon Hunter's going to have some problems. Now you can hear here more Entangle Harassment, but... It's not going to do anything to Insomnia right now. I mean, that's a joke. Insomnia's got a thousand gold, and <laughs> he's got two keeps to produce peons. One thing you see a lot of uh, human players not get is this lumber upgrade. Now, generally, I'll say 1v1 will make you the best player. Generally, I don't believe in arranged teams, 3v3s, 4v4s, and free for alls won't make you that good of a player. But they do teach you a few things about late game, especially these upgrades, like these, uh, these lumber upgrades are extremely useful in free for alls, and they're one of the biggest advantages human has. As you can see here, uh, Soul's doing some good harassment. He's really going after the peon strong and, and using two things at once to really harass uh, harass Insomnia up real well. So that's effective for sure. And he's just going after peons. I think he's trying to do this to try to slow down Insomnia's ability to tech up. And uh, I'm not really sure. I, yeah, he is going Cyclone, which is a very interesting choice. Doesn't seem like a uh, Insomnia ha or Soul has very much gold though for some reason. He's only got about 400 gold, which is uh, very strange to me. He doesn't have a Hunter's Hall either. I guess he doesn't really need one, though. As you can see, he's just annoying Insomnia. He's stopping Insomnia's ability to creep, which uh, hit and runs on his peons, which is extremely effective because Insomnia gets to uh, high level water elementals and uh, storm bolts. Even with Cyclone, he's going to have a lot of problems because uh, Insomnia is going to have a lot of free units that are just going to be able to pound away. One thing you really got to do with these Ancients of War that you won't see a lot of players do is you got to step in front of them when they're doing this tree munching stuff because if you step in front of them, it'll make the Ancient of War move around. You've seen Insomnia do it right here. He's trying to make it so uh, the guy can't reach the trees, but he did it too late. If he did it much earlier, this tree would have never lived. So uh, that's a very important tip when dealing with these lone trees. Always go and nail them when they're uh, kind of in the middle of the field and just block off any, any way they can find toward a tree. And they're dead. They won't ever be able to reach the tree. I can guarantee that. Uh, this Demon Hunter is severely stocked with items, which is pretty nice, but uh, this Keeper of the Grove looks like he's about to die, and I'm not sure if uh, Soul will TP out of this. That'd probably be a bad move on Soul's part. Because he's not gonna, I mean, if he just runs with this Demon Hunter, he's gonna lose a level 1 Keeper of the Grove. It's not a very big deal. But here, right now, he might lose his uh, Demon Hunter, or at least have to use up those potions, and, and that is a big hurt to him. His Wands and Negations are really working out well for him, though. I mean, those were well worth the money invested in him. See, if he ran his Demon Hunter earlier, he could have got him out without this problem and just sacrificed the Keeper of the Grove, and that's it's not really a big deal. I mean, losing a level 1 Keeper of the Grove, that's already going to be up and running. He's halfway built right now. So you can see he just continues to prep Druze of the Town. He's got quite a bit of money, though, so that, that is really surprising to me is how much money he has. Yeah, and there he finally TP's out. He should have just TP'd out and saved his two potions. I mean, he really didn't hurt anything of uh, Insomnia's, in my opinion. As you see, Insomnia's got his uh, economy back and running again. He's, he's producing his peons, and uh, he doesn't have much money, though. I mean, those, those strikes really hurt him. He's getting riflemen, which is a, probably a smart idea. I think what he's expecting is a large Dryad Force, though, and not a Cyclone. I could be wrong. As I said, I've, I haven't seen uh, some of these newer strategies that people have come up with. But that's what, that's what I mean, the, the most people would go mass dryads in these kind of situations because they worked well over spellcasters, but people have finally figured out how to use defend, which amazed me because defend totally stopped, I mean, it, it completely destroyed. Uh, now he's going to lose his guy there. you got to get out of here. And he's out of wands of negation, too. I don't know why he brought his keeper of the grove in there. As you can see right there, that's a very smart move. You'll see people use... Uh, Wands of Lightning Shields and then just totally reverse the situation. Ah, he's gonna actually get his Demon Hunter out. Nah. Close. Very close. He actually got his Demon Hunter out though, but now his uh, Drews are in a little bad situation. As you see, a lot of uh, switching of positions and, and rotating of forces, and that, that's really smart. I and mean, that's really what the later parts of this game comes down to, is, is a lot of things like that. Oh, he's gonna use Cyclone and Ancients of War. That's smart. But uh, that's, that's kind of massively abusive. And uh, he's probably going to use his cyclone to keep mortars and riflemen in the air. It's a good idea. It's a good plan. But I think Insomnia is going to be able to overdo it because uh, just generally, I mean, he's got a stronger force right now. And that's what's going to really save him, I think. 
Personally, I think, uh... I think Insomnia spends too much time dealing with Ancients of War. I think you should just try to ignore them. Because, I mean, what's, what, I mean, what's he gonna do sitting there in the middle of the field, progress toward his expansion? He's getting mortar teams, by the time he gets there, it's not gonna be able to do anything. Plus, he's also really going after this Demon Hunter, which, uh, is exactly what Soul wants him to do, as you can see by producing tremendous numbers of, uh, or buying tremendous numbers of potions of healing. That Ancient of War is going to die there. He should really take care of that one since it's already at 17 life. There he goes. He's going to get it now. As you can see, though, I mean, the last thing he should target is the Demon Hunter. Just, just because the way this is working out, that is the only tank. If Soul just ignored the Demon Hunter, or Tommy just ignored the Demon Hunter as a tank, moved past into his druids of the town, he'd be doing a lot better, in my personal opinion. Because it's just a matter of positioning. It's not a matter of micro. I mean, and then what will happen is Soul will be forced to back all his druids of the town up if he's in a threat. If he's in threat, and that will leave the demon hunter isolated behind all of Insomnia's force, putting him in really just a horrible position to fight. The flows of magic are whimsical today. And now Soul is really getting a little bit of an advantage here, in my opinion, because he's just mass-producing druids, which are very cheap and very effective. If you get enough druids, you're just going to cycle on everything. Though militia could, militia could put you in a war to hurt. That's possible. But yeah, I mean, cyclones really going to do some damage to these mortar teams. That is for sure. Yeah, and here comes this ancient. That's going to cause him some problems too. Uh, I don't know if he's going to be able to hide behind the tower like that. Our town is under siege. Basically, what I think Insomnia might want to try to do at this point, and, and keep in mind, a lot of you people might say, well, Blizzard works for spellcasters. Try to keep in mind Cyclone before before you think about that real quick, because uh, it's not going to work, trust me. And Clap, you're never going to get your, your Mountain King in a good position to Clap. So those skills are, are pretty close to worthless in this situation. Ah, uh, there comes the Mortar Team, and that thing's going to die real quick. I hope Insomnia's got Dispel. Yeah, he does, so that, that might help him a little bit. But he immediately saw the uh, workshop here, and he's going to go for that, because he realizes that the, the... I mean, here you go, he just threw that farm, and then he's building two Ancients of War right there. So those farms, I mean, are saving Insomnia from being nailed. And you can see Insomnia has to engage right now. And he's going to let the Demon... He's going to let the Ancient of War, through AI, automatically tank for him. And Insomnia's gonna have to reroute all his forces out. There's a well placed lightning shield. That's that would have hurt, but uh, I think it got dispelled. And you see, most of uh, his lines immediately got cyclone. His heroes are gonna be in the air the whole battle, and this is really gonna hurt. But as you can see, right now he is ignoring the demon hunter, which is exactly what he has to do. He has to go after those uh, spellcasters, and some of his footmen are doing that. The riflemen are still automatically firing at uh, the demon hunter and such. So that that isn't working out so well for Insomnia. But he is getting a lot of the uh, spellcasters, which is exactly what he has to do. And uh, he's holding pretty well, considering he was at a what I consider to be a, a pretty big disadvantage. One thing I think Soul should have done is split up his uh, Druze of the Town into two different... I mean, he's got them in a big line, which is how spellcasters like to form. That doesn't work toward his advantage when he's fighting mortar teams. And I think he's at a Cyclone right now, or real close. And there he goes, he just stunned the uh, Demon Hunter, but ain't going to do anything. This guy's just going to, yep, TP out. That's exactly what I was going to say is going to happen there. <laughs> and the problem here is that Insomnia is not getting any XP on his heroes, whereas um, Seuss, or, uh, Soul is getting an extraordinary...